analysis of pile draft an example of pile draft is selected to illustrate some of the essential features of Elbla for analyzing pile draft a left on 42 port pile is considered as shown all piles are equal in diameter and length with diameter 0.9 meter while pile length is 20 meter spacing between piles is 3.5 meter is required to analyze the raft with piles as pile draft foundation due to a uniform load of 150 kN per meter square acting on the raft the raft dimension as shown 21 by 24.5 meter for raft material Young's modulus will be 3.4 by 10 power 7 for power ratio it will be 0.2 unit weight of raft will be 25 and raft thickness will be 1.5 meter for pile material Young's modulus will be 2.35 by 10 power 7 unit weight will be 25 and for soil material we will use modulus of elasticity for loading it will be 10,000 kN per meter square and for reloading it will be the same unit weight of soil will be uh, 18 and pulse ratio will be 0.3 layer thickness will be 50 meter and the ground water will be 2 meter from the surface from the ground surface and this example the modulus of compressibility method method 7 and LPLA is chosen to analyze the pile draft this tutorial manual will not present the theoretical background of modeling the problem for more information concerning the method of analysis a complete reference for the soil models and numerical calculation method are well documented in the user's guide of LPLA after starting LBLA program from LBLA file here we will start with a new project we will select a new project here and then from calculation method wizard we will select analysis of pile draft then select next and from calculation method we will select method 7 modulus of compressibility we also can solve it with modulus of compressibility by iteration method or modification of modulus of subgrade reaction by iteration method these three models will have the same result or similar result then next and from system of symmetry we will select unsymmetrical system then next and from option we don't have to add anything of this to this problem or this model then we will save it or save this project to the destination folder we can save it as pile raft then save it then from project identification we can enter three lines we can select it we can enter three lines of text to describe the problem and the basic information about the task these texts are required only for printing data and result for title we can enter analysis of Wild Raft and maybe for project tutorial manual and save it then we will select FENet data and we here have a rectangular slab for raft with 24.5 meter length and 21 meter width 
and for generation type here we will select the square one type then next and for grid intervals in x and y direction we will select 1.75 meter then finished it then we will save fe net from here or from file we can save it and then close fe net and go to next we here have foundation properties and from foundation properties we will select element group here to define modulus of slab it will be 3.4 by 10 power 7 and for both all ratio it will be 0.2 and slab thickness will be 1.5 meter then ok after that we have here a unit weight of the slab it will be 25 we don't have to change it then ok then for foundation depth it will be 2 meter from the ground surface then ok and save it then close foundation properties and go to next here for soil properties and we will select first soil data from soil data we have here modulus of elasticity for loading and for reloading and we here will select soil properties are defined by modulus of elasticity E and it will be 10,000 and in reloading it will be the same for soil unit weight it will be uh, 18 and for Poisson ratio for soil it will be 0.3 and in this example the angle of internal friction and the cohesion of the soil are not required because we select the type of the analysis is linear analysis so we will change only uh, layer depths under the ground surface it will be 15 50 yes then ok and then save it and close then next we will select loads on the slab or on the left we here have distributed rectangular loot with 150 kilonewton per meter square then ok and save and close loads and next we have pile first we will select pile group here and we can enter pile diameter it will be 0.9 and pile length it will be um, 20 meter then ok and for pile material and element size we can enter it for unit weight it will be 25 for modulus of elasticity for pile it will be 2 0.35 by 10 power 7 and element size we can choose it to be 2 meter then ok and then we can select pile nodes here on the grid or we can paste it from excel file if we have pile location after we select element nodes we will select add piles we, in this example we have only one group of pile so we will select ok and here we have pile location and from pile location and groups we can change pile label or pile location if we need to change it And from paste from Excel we can uh, copy 
add from excel file if we have excel file here for pile location and pile label and we just need here to uh, define group number for pile and then we can select x coordinate y coordinate group number and pile label then copy it from excel and back to Elipla and if we select here new and paste from excel we here have all pile data also here we change pile label then save it and close pile now we finished the find all data so we will go to solver to solve this problem and we will select computation of all finally we here have a summary for calculation and check for solution we here have total load and submission of contact pressure and reaction our pile reaction uh, it seems to be ok so we will select ok and finally we go to result to display result of data from in plane and isometric view we here can select Isometric view to display system of loading for example here we have system of loading we can uh, display also slab sickness and we can display also pile group or pile location from end plane as shown and we can display results as contour, as isometric view, result value, circular diagram, deformation, principal moment, reaction for pile for example. Here we have it. We have also summary for maximum and minimum by reaction here. And we can display contour line for settlement, for contact pressure for every results we have we can also display pouring look we can change it from landscape to portrait from batch setup here we can select portrait and we here have a uh, foundation depths and scale line here and pouring look we can also display sections uh, curves for pile and force and bite from this option here we have reaction forces in each pile here for pile 1 or pile label P1 we have the reaction forces on this pile and finally we can display results of table and list and we can display it through text editor or send it to word or excel file thanks